Hello friends, welcome to Farmer Dish. So here we will provide you the study material for Railway Pharmacist exam preparation. So according to the latest syllabus, according to the latest syllabus of the RRB Pharmacist exam, we will give you the study material on each subject so today the part is microbiology that is the part one so for the study materials and mcq questions for the upcoming railway pharmacist exam preparation please subscribe please follow farmer days so requirement of vitamins in microorganisms so why the vitamins what are the vitamins required in the microorganism so vitamin thiamine helps in transfer of aldehyde group in microbes so in the microbes what is the role of thiamine the role of thiamine is the transfer of aldehyde group what is the role of vitamin pyridoxine in microbes it helps in metabolism of amino acid in microbes okay and what is the role of folic acid in microbes it helps in one carbon metabolism so for the one carbon metabolism which vitamin needed in microbes that is the folic acid for the metabolism of amino acid pyridoxine needed and for the transfer of aldehyde group in the microbes vitamin thiamine is needed now the classification of microbe based on carbon source used for their growth this is very important for this time exam what do you mean by autotrophs and heterotrophs so this classification is based on the carbon source utilized by the microbes carbon source utilized by the microbes for their growth so what do you mean by autotrophs these microbes use carbon dioxide that is co2 as their principal source of carbon what are the heterotrophs these microbes used reduced organic molecule as carbon source so autotroph used carbon dioxide as their carbon source and heterotrophs used reduced organic molecules as their carbon source now classification of microbes based on the energy source they are utilized okay so what do you mean by phototrophs they use energy source light so what is the energy source for phototrophs photon phototrophs means photon it comes from photon that means light for the chemotrophs they obtain energy from oxidation of compounds so if they are asking chemotrophs phototrophs are classified on the basis of that is the energy source okay similarly autotrophs heterotrophs what we already discussed this autotroph heterotrophs classified on the basis of carbon source utilized by the microbes for their growth now the classification of microbes based on the source of electron they used that is organotrophs lithotrophs so the organotrophs lithotrophs they are classified depends on the source of electron they used so organic molecule used for source of electron in case of organotrophs reduced molecule of inorganic origin is used as source of electron in case of lithotrophs so for the lithotrophs the source of electron is reduced molecule of inorganic origin and the for the organotrophs the source of electron is organic molecule so in summary microbes can be classified as very important this chart depends on the source of carbon they utilized depends on the source of energy source they utilized depends on the source of electron source they utilized okay so depends on the source of carbon source they are classified as autotroph and heterotrophs depends on the energy source they utilized they are classified as phototrophs and chemotrophs depends on the source of electron they utilized they are classified as lithotrophs and organotrophs so 
according to the above classification what is fungi fungi is chemo organo heterotrophy algae is photolitho autotrophy and protozoa is chemo organo heterotrophy once again we will recall so protozoa is chemo organo heterotrophy algae is photolitho autotrophy fungi is chemo organo heterotrophy so and again based on the temperature at which the bacteria sorry the uh, microbes can grow they are classified as so based on the temperature at which microbes can grow so depends on their optimum temperature of their growth they are classified as psychophile facultative psychophiles mesophile hyperthermophiles thermophiles what do you mean by psychrophiles they grow at 0 degree centigrade so psychrophiles grow at 0 degree centigrade and may grow 15 degree centigrade or lesser temperature so maximum they withstand the temperature is 15 degree centigrade so psychrophiles the optimum temperature is 0 to 15 for the facultative psychrophiles the grow optimum temperature is 0 to 7 degree centigrade but they withstand the temperature from 20 to up to 30 degree centigrade they can withstand okay mesophiles they grow between 20 degree to 45 degree centigrade so optimum temperature for facultative sorry facultative psychophiles is 0 degree to 7 degree centigrade for mesophile is 20 to 45 degree centigrade and the, for the thermophiles they grow between 55 to 65 degree centigrade very important so thermophiles grow between 55 to 65 degree centigrade then hyperthermophiles grow hyper means above more than thermophiles so grow above 90 degree centigrade so depends on the oxygen consumption they are classified as aerobe aerobe means organ which grows in the presence of atmospheric oxygen obligate aerobe that means for growth this organism completely depends upon oxygen of the atmosphere anaerobe means organism can grow in absence of atmospheric oxygen facultative anaerobe means do not require atmospheric oxygen for their growth but grow better in presence of oxygen they do not essentially require the atmospheric oxygen but grow better in presence of oxygen obligate anaerobe means die in presence of oxygen so obligate anaerobe dry in presence of obligate anaerobe dry in the presence of atmospheric oxygen so some mcq question for upcoming rrb pharmacist exam a strict rigid cell wall may be seen in in which case a cell wall may be seen option a gram negative bacteria option b gram positive bacteria option c halophyte option d all bacteria so correct answer is option b gram positive bacteria question number two which of the following elements required in lesser amount for the growth of the most of the bacteria which of the following elements required in lesser amount for the grow of the most of the bacteria option a potassium option b phosphorus option c magnesium option d sulfur answer is option c magnesium question number three the uh, question number three rapid growth of bacteria may be seen if source of carbon in the culture media means so the question they asked in if the rapid growth of the bacteria you want to see which will be the source of carbon that means in the culture media which may be the source of carbon grip the maximum growth of the bacteria option a glycerol option b lactose option c pentose option d succinate correct answer is succinate so if you use succinate as the source of carbon maximum rapid growth of bacteria is occurred Question number four, in many of the bacteria, an additional extracellular layer may be seen. Which is the layer? This layer is known as option A, O, option B, S, option C, H, option D, P. Correct answer is option B, S layer. Question number five, they asked, which of the following is known to play an important role in the bacteria adhesion? Option A, pili, option B, fimbri, option C, flagella, option D, capsule. Correct answer is 